Hello, in this video, we'll discuss uh, Linus, Slope, Intercept, r square, and Stay X in a linear, simple linear regression. Here we have a data set where we insert a chart and show the trend line of this data set. That's the trend line. We use linear because it's a simple linear regression and show it as label and the value bar square. So here we have the, the chart, the scatter chart with the trend line and the equation of the trend line. The equation of the trend line is y equals 2x plus 3.86. 2 is the value of B, B1 and B0 is the value of 3.86, which is the intercept and the B1 is the slope. So we use Linus to calculate this uh, coefficients, which is Linus data y and data x. And we'll show the full statistics. So we have B0, which is 3.86, which matches to our chart equation. And B1 is 1.99 rounded up as 2 in our trend line equation. We can also show the full statistics for this. And we have the 10 outputs. We can calculate R square, which is 0.95. R, R square here is 0.95588, rounded up as 0.956. B1 can be calculated using slope. Data y and data x and match to our line as output. B0 can be calculated using intercept. Data y and data x. And this matches to our line as output. R squared can be calculated using RSQ. Data y and that x stay x can be calculated using stay x data y and that x so our r skew and stay x matches to our linus output next we can calculate for the rest of the values we we start with the standard error values of the intercepts and the slope. We complete the one comma x matrix because this is factored out. You have a one comma x matrix times B0 semicolon B1. We already have that those values, slope as intercept. Now we'll start, we'll continue with the one comma x matrix. So we have one and the x column, which is RA formula of the x values. Next, we calculate for the Pijarina inverse, which is min inverse and mult transpose of the one comma x matrix and itself. Now we can calculate for the standard error value of the intercept, which is equal to stay x, times square root of p jarina 1. And this matches to our Linus output. Next, we calculate for the standard error value of the slope, which is stay x times square root of p jarina 2. 0.162155 matches to our Linus output. Next, we calculate for the rows, which is the number of population, which is the number of rows of the range. We have nine. Now we can calculate for the degrees of freedom of the denominator, which is rows minus columns, rows minus columns of the range, of the range, seven. 
and this matches to our Linus output. Our, the residual sum of squares, which is equal to degrees of freedom times stay x squared. 8.80959 matches to our Linus output. When we calculate for the total sum of square, which is n times variance of population y. Now we can calculate for the, recede, the regression sum of squares, which is r square times total sum of squares. 190.889 matches to our Linus output. And we can calculate for the F statistic, which is equal to regression sum of squares divided by 1, because there's only one independent variable, divided by stay x, stay x squared. 151.67 matches to our Linus output. This completes uh, the, discuss the explanation of Linus, slope, intercept, R squared and stay X for linear, simple linear